Target stay put, that's an order! You're cheating. The rule is one foot on the ground at all times. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm positive you didn't. The CHS name we start as interns on Monday. Great, just what we need, a new batch of arrogant, know-it-all interns. So you help me or you get out of my way. Careful, Hawkins, you're gonna need people like me. Whenever you're free, I'm like- Friday at eight. The miscarriage is not your fault. There is nothing anyone could have done. These things, they just happen. What would you have wanted to do? I crossed the clearing yesterday. Hey! Hey, hey, whoa, 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 Conrad. It's not the first time I've seen you lose it like that. What are we doing? Let's get out of here. I'm fine. You are not fine. I think, okay, I overreacted, but you, you're doing the same thing right now. Oh, Conrad, the way that you handle things scares me. That's not fair. Whether it's Afghanistan, losing the baby. Don't. No, you need to hear it, because that's the truth. You bottle everything up inside. I never know what you're thinking. I never know what you're feeling. And now this, dragging some guy into a bathroom because some bomb goes off in you and I can't see it coming? This is not normal. I'm sorry, Conrad. I can't, I can't do this anymore. You know where I can find Dr. Conrad Hawkins? Everything you thought you knew about medicine is wrong. I need a new resident. Mine's impossible. You got Conrad. Watch and learn. Conrad's the guy who tightens the bolt. No gamers, no slackers, no doctors. That's pretty clear. What did you do this time? Tell me about the new admission. Alopecia, discoid rash, rising urea nitrogen, lupus. I'll do whatever it takes to get you back. Lily means a lot to all of us. She's been in and out of the ER so often we're all invested. But if you screw this one up, I will wreck you. I got it. Conrad, he's dead. What the hell happened? Oh, that happened. What does this stand for? Hands of death and destruction. You're kidding. You need to consider a change before you kill any more patients. How dare you. All we want to do is help our patients, but what they don't teach us in medical school is there are so many ways to do harm. Annabeth, five, she had cancer. She died from me, not the cancer. If it were easy, everyone would be a doctor because this is the best job in the world despite everything. Because of everything. Ah, when I was about your age, I was driving with my dad. Guy in a moped swerved in front of us right into the path of an oncoming car. A woman in the car behind us jumped out, and she worked on that kid until the ambulance came. This incredible woman had the ability to save a life right in front of me, and I knew in that moment that I wanted to be a person who could jump out of the car to help people. So that's what I do. Stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. I have your heart. Always. Your patient's heart. We'll be with you every step of the way. My surgery was canceled. I can't do that. Yes, I can. There's nothing you can do. Says who? Really speak your mind. It's just, it's a juvenile habit. It's not your fault. It feels like it is. God, I love when you believe in me. I never stopped believing in you. Where's my miracle, Dr. Hawkins? I'll find one. Two patients are getting organs, two lives saved. Thank you for today. Every day, actually. You don't have the right to play God, Conrad. I was a corpsman in the Marines. Jude was a base surgeon. We tried to save lives, not take them. It doesn't matter whether they eat lobster or roadkill. I take care of them. I forgot to tell you, I saw Lily earlier. She didn't look good. We do the best we can, as often as we can. But we can't save everyone. It's about your boy, Conrad. Look, he's taking things hard. If he doesn't start to choose his battles, he's gonna burn out. It's not my boy. Not anymore. What are you so damn happy about? Because I know exactly where I'm supposed to be tomorrow and it's that chest thing. You need to learn how to do one of the hardest things we have to do as doctors. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'm here, Lily, and I'm gonna take care of this. It's a case that will inspire you, it will touch you, and make you believe again. 
thought you said I was gonna get the best. He is the best, yes. Him talk about our lives. Not a sign of weakness, you get that, right? My parents split, my dad kept me from my mom. And then she passed away, you know that. If you're looking for approval, you chose the wrong path in life, do your job, you do it well, and that's it. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I was hoping that time and maturity would open the doors for us starting over. Look at the industry you work in. I help sick people. And while I'm at it, I fight corruption and train doctors to do the same. You found me. Wasn't looking for you. Ouch. I'm trying to help the patient. Then why don't you try actually listening to him? Patients' words over tests, 90% of the time they give you the answers you need. You know, one of these days, your need to play God with the rules is gonna cost the patient their life. Conrad, I am trying. I'll see you later. Hey, talk to me. You told me repeatedly that this thing was over between us. I just didn't want to hear it. I think she's worth fighting for. That's on me. Okay, so in the future, just so I'm clear, in these tumor board meetings, we don't factor in what the patient wants? I look forward to the day when you're proud to be a doctor. I think he still loves you, Nick. You need to decide if you're still in love with him. What would you do if you were me? I wouldn't want to spend the time I have left at Dr. Hunter's clinic. I'd want to spend every minute I have left with her. <sighs> Dr. Lane Hunter, tell me everything. I'll go if you go. I'd rather have a colonoscopy. <laughs> we're Devin's parents. Thank you for everything you've done for us, son. She'd be very proud of me. Any progress? I'm missing a puzzle piece. I just don't know what it is. Maybe now isn't a good time to ask them to open their checkbook. It's not always about the money. Oh God, the chemo is so strong this time. I think it's gonna kill me. Catherine? Conrad? What has it been, like 10 years? Conrad was my fiance. Can we talk about this? You mean the fact that there's this whole other part of your life that you never mentioned? Nope, not my business. Nick, we both came from broken families. You always wanted kids of your own. I'm so happy for you. She left me after I punched my father in the nose at the rehearsal dinner. Wow. Told Catherine I didn't really love her and that the marriage was gonna be a disaster, so I decked them. I care about her very much and I wanna fix her. If we take her on and lose, our careers will be over. I can't believe you're worried about your career right now. Conrad is so different. He's so, um, gentle. Well, that is because you're his patient. You belong to his mother. Did you know that? No. He loved her very much. He must mean a great deal to him if he gave it to you. She said give it to the love of your life. You want it back? No. You earned it. Two women left me for the same reason. You deserve Nick. You can give her what I can. You're a rank amateur who deludes himself that he's learned to play the game. But you just break things, and that is going to catch up with you in the end. I'm dying. Please. Stay with me. Stay with me. I'm right here. I'm right here. Stay with me. Stay with me. Time of death. 2158. No one thinks about the effect on doctors when they have to watch their patients suffer. Third year in my residency in internal medicine, I was just headed up to the floors. So proud of you. You're hurt. I fell running. It's no big deal. He's punishing himself. He'll keep walking on it until it snaps. I've had dementia patients more rational than you. The only thing any of us can hope for is the good we do far outweighs the harm. There are some memories you can't escape. You know, if you would have let me do this this morning, it would have gotten so bad. Things are never that simple with you, are they? Lily's gone. It's killing me. That is no excuse not to see your pain. Nurse Nevin was making some mistakes. No, she doesn't make mistakes. She catches them. That's why she was the first one to see what Lane has been doing. What do you think Lane has been doing? Overdosing patients with chemo, discharging patients too soon. Conrad, Lane totally threw her under the bus. If you don't open your eyes to the truth, hold on tight because this entire hospital will come crashing down on all of us. You know, doctors think the patients are theirs, but they're not. They're ours. Lily Kendall was my patient. And I did not harm her. You come at me like that again, Dr. Hawkins? 
And I'll have you selling orthotics out of your car. I will end you. This isn't over yet. What do you think he's saying? No, sorry, as you won't have time to kill any more people in the OR. <sighs> it's Bill. Kill me time. Fix your face. Mm, you're smiling. Keep me out of it. You in? Do I have a choice? No. You don't love being a doctor, so go. Get out of this place and find what you do love. What's going on? My sister, she owned it on Oxy. I gave her two doses of Narcan. Nice to see you two are happening again. Nothing's happening again. Well, it should be. Nice to have you back, Jess. Conrad, when's the last time you had a simple carb? <laughs> It's been a minute. Where are you? Atlanta Detention Center. You almost died last night. You care now? Our family? You're still just passing through. Oh, I'm here right now and I'm not leaving without you. She's just going through a hard time. Is she right okay? Now, she will be. I'll see you in a few hours. What are you gonna do? Rob a bank? Kinda. Stay safe. Nicolette Nevin's bail has been paid. The truth is going to come out, Dr. Bell. You called the FBI? This is a new beginning between us. So worst case scenario. is happening now. Right now, this isn't your fault. But if you cut and he dies, it's on you. Don't risk it. He was bleeding out. He had seconds. What is it with you two? Sticking your necks out for some patient you just met a few hours ago. We are off duty. Oh, this is the guy. He was never off duty. Time to grow up and be a role model. Be their Conrad. No. Residents are on the front line of patient care. I want my son's input. What would you do first to improve the hospital? Easy. Weed out problematic stuff. Well, starting with a resident who breaks the rules whenever he damn well pleases. Excellence comes from the top down. So you're going to have to learn to work together. <laughs> Your complication rates are through the roof. Can you do this procedure safely? I can do it flawlessly, and it's not your call. Team O, Dad. Technically, the hospital is a nonprofit. In order to keep our tax exempt status, we're supposed to have programs to benefit the community. What are we doing now? Nothing. What about an outpatient clinic for the uninsured with community outreach? I used to volunteer for one run by Partners in Health in Boston. We'd love to start something like that here. It could have helped Abby. We missed that chance. We can't miss chances like that again. Maybe things will be different. We're a level one trauma center and we can't get a bag of salt water. Where are you going? Speak truth to power. My father invests in company who makes his money and then he moves on, leaving scorched earth behind. I can handle your father. He's holding on to a honeymoon when maybe there never should have been a marriage. John says he's changed. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. We went through so much. Things changed. I'm not sure that people can. We broke up because we had issues. And then Lily died and your dad came back. I got arrested. If those things didn't happen, do you think we'd be back together? Ah, uh, yes. And you got a choice to make. You do what Bell says and save your job, or stand up for your principles and risk getting fired. Okay, that's not the answer I was looking for. That's all I got. I hope it'll be different. It will be, because I'll be different. Do the work, get the help. You make me want to be a better person. That's one of the reasons why I love you. But if this is going to work, you need to believe it, too. Yeah, you better open your eyes. He's certainly here to scorch the earth, but trust me, he'll be sticking around to make a mint off the carbon he creates. I want people to believe I've changed. I need to consider that maybe you are too. You're a lot more like me than you realize. I love you too. And I do think it'll be different this time. Oh, good. We can use some extra hands. Sorry, but I am here for this guy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Patients need to be able to sue. It's their only recourse for medical error. Last year, I went to Rwanda to volunteer with Partners in Health. That's the kind of vacation I like. You're a great doctor. I'll never make it. State your name for the record. Dr. Conrad Hawkins. This lawsuit could end your career. You could even be found personally liable. And the hospital won't stand by you. Not everyone at Chastain is on your side. But you are. Yes. I have to tell the truth no matter what. Then you'll lose. Maybe. Every day, doctors make decisions. Sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy, but this is one of the easy ones. I broke a rule to save a life, and if I hadn't, he'd be dead. So, 
The next time someone saves your life, just say thank you. She's asking for the cool doctor with the tattoos. I'm on it. Don't do that. Been clear for two years. Now he's got a low-grade fever and a cough. I saw a yellow bruise on him and his nodes are swollen. Are you okay? Why are you telling mother her child is dying? Jasper can't be cured. But what you can do is you can focus on the quality of life he has left. I don't want his last moments to be torture and neither do you. <laughs> he needs you. Both of you. I'm here, Jasper. I'm right here. No, you're not miss this moment. Go ahead. Tell me to go home that there's nothing wrong with me. It's exactly what the other three doctors said. Actually, women under 35 are the most misdiagnosed subset of patients in the country, so no, I don't want to tell you that. Oh, that's, that's an incidental moment. It's a benign growth. It's not. It could be something that explains everything. I'm really gonna be okay. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I'm not exactly sitting across from an open book. You left home and didn't tell me where you were for 10 years. I had to hire a private investigator to track you down. The fox is guarding the hen house. Can't wait, we have to act now. My mom died from a bad judgment call. We need to be certain. You know that's not possible. If you have something you need to say to Jesse, now would be a good time. I hate waking up and not having you next to me. You're getting pretty involved with this family. This is why we try to keep a safe distance from our patients. We have a new VNS device designed for cases exactly like your son's. VNS devices are a last resort. I strongly recommend you do not go down this path for the VNS. Ultimately, this is your call. I think it's best if I just let his mom be with him. Why didn't you tell me? Why would I bother my son? Uh, wild guess, because I'm a doctor. It's under control. You do not have to take care of me. This is what I do, Dad. I barely know my father. Well, maybe you should fix that. You mentioned before about your mother. That she left you, and that's not how I remember it. She was a good woman and a great mother, and I should have made her my priority, and you as well. I'm glad you came back. You're my father. I love you. You don't want kids since when? I already have a child. My sister, Jesse. Conrad! I left him all alone with Belle. I could lose him. Hey, don't go there. Sorry I wasn't here. Always taking the weight of the world on your shoulders. The blame. Not this time. We know we're going up against Goliath. And it's true. All we got is a slingshot. But we have damn good aim. She's been trying to advocate for herself. All along. She's not alone anymore. And you're not alone either. Uh, intern class photo. And you hate that white coat. Yep. Bradley. 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 No more overnight bags. Our own place. Raised chickens. Chickens? What? Yeah. Why not? I don't really want to raise chickens. Oh, definitely seemed like you wanted to raise some chickens. I think I just need a minute. I guess. Big decision. Looks like I'm not so good at this relationship thing. I'm not so sure I am either. <coughs> you better tighten it up. Nick's a catch. She's a gem. Don't let that one go. Doing my best. House is off the table. I let it go. You did what? Yeah, I just didn't feel right. I just, I spend so much of my time trying to figure it out with the tell patients, trying to alleviate their fears before and after the diagnosis to protect them. Sometimes our truth is just the best thing for everyone. So, that was a project for you and now it's finished. That's my fear, that's my diagnosis. Is it true? All right, 
I shouldn't have come here today. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm right. Either way, just open up like you asked me to do. And I will, when I'm ready, when I figure some things out. Opioids can cause euphoria. Is Jesse being tested? No matter what happens, we're all here for you. We were taking a really big risk here. But we are going to try to save this life. How did you get a reservation on Valentine's uh, Day? Anything is possible when you call eight months in advance. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. One couldn't leave his world, the other found a way to make it better than reality. Is there anything you taught me? Everything tastes better than wine glass. Are you and Conrad gonna get married? Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know. Don't you love him? Yeah, yeah, I do very much. What in God's name is happening? <laughs> it's a VNS. <laughs> Just ain't gonna continue to be in business with this company. Randolph did the right thing. Well, he'll turn on a dime whenever it suits him. We can't count on him for anything. All you have to do is tell the truth about what happened. Of course. He said you are one real pain in the ass. I'll take it, pain in the ass. People get things done. When Randolph was young, he was a lot like you. This place has a way of changing people. Change you too. You need to speak out or people will die if you don't. I signed already. I will help arrange for Henry's transfer to do. Mina said you're storming the castle. We're going. Go get him. We're running out of time. I know. I figured you'd be halfway to Quovanus by now. I can't leave. I got critical patients. Conrad. Dad. Oh, okay, so. You saved more lives than I did today. We don't coerce patients into treatments they don't want. Even if it's for their own good and they don't understand what they're choosing? Are you sure you were a medic in Afghanistan? Oh, I know who I am. The question is, who are you? That was going on. I'm leaving Chastain. Leaving? I want to use my vast resources to change the medical industry for the better. But you can do that here. Part of me just feels like... Like you're sleeping you again. I'm leaving town. I'm not leaving your life. Your daughter is the best thing that's ever happened to my son. Oh, words that were never said will finally be spoken. Donna explicitly decided to be DNR. I have to uphold that. And I believe we should uphold the wishes that she made clear to me. I hear you, and as painful as this is for both of us, I believe that we have to uphold the written directive. I made the call. 30 years, I've needed to say something to you, Bob. Go to hell. I don't want us to regret the things we haven't said. I love you. I love you, too. I don't to keep moving forward. If there's a mountain, I'll climb it. If there's a race, I'll run it. But what I don't do is stay in the same place. I'd marry you, Nick. But I don't ask because you don't even want to live together. Why is making more of a commitment to me a burden? I am here to help. I'm putting down boundaries. Can't go forward if we don't have the same level of commitment, and we don't. You know what this feels like? Emotional black. I don't move in with you, so you just leave me. Telling you what I want is emotional blackmail. Yeah, that's what this feels like. Okay, well then we see this completely differently. Yeah, I think we do. If you're not interested in going forward for me, it's time to take a step back. That's what you want. It's not what I want. When I go home at night, no matter what's going on in my life, I want you there. You don't feel the same. That's the problem. Oh, Red. Nick, I know we have new boundaries, but I am here for you. We all get wrapped up when we're in a relationship. I'm all negative, universal donor. Respect. Here without Nick. And eating cobs. Mm. Who are you? You're just hanging with my homies. <laughs> 
How far are you willing to go to save your sister's life? What do you like about the 80s? Well, it's a Nick thing. It seems to make it my thing. <laughs> Going somewhere? Nick didn't tell you? She thinks I can get on a transplant with someplace else. So. I can only think of one way Nick could get a kidney for Jesse right now, and it's illegal. Come on. Don't do this. Are you telling me to give up? No, I'm not telling you to give up. What I'm saying is what you're thinking of doing is awful. If it were me, and I needed a kidney, it's the only option. I need, to... I need to be better for her, someone that she can look up to if I'd gone through with this. Nick, you made the right decision. What's wrong? Everything okay? Can I come in? You said you want to move forward in our relationship. I want that too. I just need you to meet me halfway. What do you mean? It means I want to start talking about moving in, marriage, a family, all of it. But you can't push me. You can't rush me. Let, let me do this at my own pace. You can do that. I mean, I really want those chickens. <laughs> no chickens. <laughs> I can't believe that my kidney is her best option. It's her only option. Anybody need a kidney around here? I promise I'll pay you if anything changes. Welcome to another rewarding day under the heel of Red Rock Mountain Medical. Wait, I smoke gas! Oh my god. There's a fire, the whole place could go up! We're not leaving you! Are you okay? Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Stay with me. You're stuck with me. I love you. I love you too. I'm just so glad he's okay. You can't stop living your life just because someone you love has lost theirs. I can't let Jesse go without knowing what really happened. Let's move in together. I, well, I struggled to give my dad a second chance for a lot of reasons. But then when I decided to let him in a bit, I discovered some things, some good things about him. I wouldn't have known if I just shut him out. All this, corporatized medicine, profit over patience, I guess I just look at it as a different kind of battlefield, one where we need to keep showing up. <laughs> How did you get this place? <laughs> Dumb luck or karma just came back on the market. Whatever it is, I'm so happy we're here now. Chickens! Oh. <laughs> wow! Navy Corpsman, Thurbatai Seven Marines. Battle Sanguine. Heard that was a hell of a time, brother. Saints, sinners, and everything in between. We treat them all. It doesn't matter what they've done before they come through our doors. Do whatever you need to do so I can get what I need. That way, nobody else has to die. Rick, I need some help in here. What would you do if you couldn't be a doctor? We've had five other patients drop dead from massive PEs just in the past six weeks. All dialysis patients. Spiro's crew has a hostage. His life is hanging in the balance. You're crossing a line. I am doing the most good for the greatest number of people. Don't do this. It has to be done. I want no part of it. You just gotta show people that you're in the spirits. I followed protocol. Well, clearly your protocol was off. And what about your protocol? You tortured a patient. Look, I'm grateful for everything you've taught me, but there are some lessons that I don't want to learn. Connor, what's going on? I couldn't sleep. I can't stop thinking about Jesse. Hemopleotin. These types of drugs can increase the risk of clots. Hospitals don't like to share data, not even with their own staff. See what I'm saying? You don't think it could be? Well, what do I find out? I can't help I am fresh out. We're not. But I don't want to be the kind of doctor you are. Well, clearly I've been wasting your time. Red Rock Pharmaceutical Company, you ready to take these guys on? Here you go. Thank you. Those two seem okay after their man breakup. Mm. Breakup's a bit harsh. Conscious uncoupling. They're just not working directly together anymore. 
more time, the more patients can die. Like Jesse. How's the device company? It's never easy to challenge the status quo, but you know that. Yeah. So what's going on? Hopefully nothing. I'm just a little concerned about one of the meds you're on, so I want to check out. I missed you. I missed you too. Did I tell you Nick and I got chickens? You could be fired. My sister might have died because of this drug. So honestly, I don't give a damn. You and Conrad, I love you guys, but I thought I made myself clear I am not going to be that kind of doctor. Right now, we only have anecdotal evidence that it happened. I need access to a large sample of patients, and I can't even get the data from this hospital. Maybe I can help. Going to a shareholder meeting. I'm hoping they're going to let us take a look at their database for hemopleids and patients. You are a rock star. Conrad Hawkins. Dr. Conrad Hawkins. An exclusive with Diacure Renal Services would help us all out. Bottom line, if hemopleitin is killing people, chest ain't can prove it. Jess, welcome back. Now stay with me. I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. If it had been you, I would be. I have no idea what I'd be. All right, so everyone listen to the third year resident and follow him anywhere. When she dies, it's going to be on you. Love surgeons with attitude and even a healthy ego. Mm. If they put patients first, like you do. A lot of mind residents with cojones, you tread like me. You just made a dangerous enemy. It was my job to figure it out. Maybe we still can. Get out of my war! Now! Hawkins stay. Now she has a chance. Tomorrow I go in to see Ben on the rock and get this drug pulled off the shelves permanently. You know how dangerous that is, Connor? Big Pharma is ruthless. They could go after you. We need to pull it immediately and warn the FDA. No, I've looked over the data. Dr. Hawkins is right. I'm not invincible, you know. No one is. He's a threat to the hospital. Maybe he needs family, and I'm afraid that is us. This is. No one wanted any other way. I will be back as soon as I can. Leave the kitchen for me to clean. I'm fine. Go. Peterson's little Tommy today on Thanksgiving. Holidays will haunt them forever. Mm. You know, they say the people we love the most are the ones we take care of, not the ones who take care of us. We saved his life. That's not what he says. You haven't always been on my side. I am this time. If they find out, you'll never practice at Justine again or anywhere else. Does anyone else know? Just uh, He is our number one diagnostician. He's about to become chief resident. Long term, I guarantee a whistleblower is a liability. Well, then why not just fire him? Why go through all of We both know his father's a powerful man. It's him or you. Thanks for having my back. How would you describe Dr. Hawkins? Caring. Smart. We heard he can be a rule breaker. Is that true? Never seen it. Define rule breaker. Well, I saw him cut in line in the cafeteria once. You break rules, ignore protocol. That is who you are and it is wrong. We have been over and over this. A man is alive because of what I did. Oh, you didn't do it for him. You did it for you. You're damn right I did. Profesh isn't Hawkins' intern anymore? No, he requested a new resident. And to make a choice he could live with. They've decided to depose you. Now. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Sometimes you have to fight fire with fire. Devin has to do what he feels is right, no matter the consequences. I sort of try to teach him. This man is alive today because of Dr. Hawkins. These patients need you. And I had to make a decision I could live with. Oh, you and I are very different. I respect that. Me too. And I think this hospital needs doctors like both of us. There's a bloodbath coming. Conrad still has a target on his back. 12 more hours, you'll be free. I will never escape you, but you're going to be chief resident. Oh, yeah. Good point. I, I tried to kill myself. Sometimes to do right, you can't follow the rules. I think the short answer is I'm not an intern anymore. Was Tyler's overdose a suicide attempt? Absolutely not. That first day you told me go be a doctor or go be something else. 
And you said this is the best job in the world, despite everything, because of everything. What a privilege it is to be a part of it. Have you been buying my lunch this whole time? Yeah, something my resident did for me. It's a tradition. You just pay for it, do the same for your intern. I want you to know that I do know. Wow. She needs to say yes. Oh, she will. You guys are inevitable. No, I know how I feel about Nick. That's never changed. It never will change. She's everything. You need to talk to someone about why you tried to take your own life to make sure it doesn't happen again. Let's welcome our new chief resident, Dr. Conrad Hawkins. We'll see if you're all still clapping for me when I'm busting your asses first thing in the morning. <laughs> you're fired. I blew to a soul and a bad drug and you're afraid for your bottom line. You're afraid of me. You should be. 10 minutes per patient. And if the diagnosis isn't obvious and it takes over 10 minutes? If it were easy, everyone would be a doctor because this is the best job in the world despite everything. Because of everything. I'm gone a matter of weeks. You're in the servants' quarters and my son, one of the best doctors at Chastain, is fired. <laughs> Dave, you should have seen your face! <laughs> You okay, man? I mean, really. I'm so happy. I don't know who I am right now. Or who I'll be if I can't be a doctor anymore. Whatever that version of me looks like, there's no way Nick deserves that. Go kick some Red Rock ass. You're gonna have to bring more than a slingshot to this fight. It's gonna get ugly. Red Rock came for me, now I'm coming for them. Now you know we have to take this from here, right? Hey, we got it. I promise. You know what Red Rock did to you was not right. You know, they haven't treated you so well either. What can I do for you? Archer's my patient. I'm not even allowed to see him. Nothing's filling that void. If I had one hour left to live, I would want to spend it with you. I will take it. <laughs> <laughs> but don't die. <laughs> a long-distance relationship or give up being the doctor. This is what it's come to? No, it hasn't. He won't listen, so I asked Reggie if he knew a doctor he could give me a second opinion. Nice as it is to see you, Conrad. Logan Kim isn't gonna like that you're here. I know. I'm a friend of the patient. That's not against hospital policy. Bill Landry is the richest man in Georgia, and in one morning you have him pissed off at Chastain. If you so much as lay a finger on Dax Ramsey, I'll have you thrown out and sued. If I knew it was you on the other end of the page, I would have rallied the troops, stick up the alarm, <laughs> called the band. Can you just say it's good to see him and be done with it? <laughs> Thanks for coming down. That's no problem. I never thought I'd say these words. Oh, I'll go ahead and say it. One of us has to, bro. We might need Conrad Hawkins. No. Did that hurt much? Yeah, a little. Okay. I know that look. You know, I dig that look. It's been an acquired taste for me. Oh, okay. So you're just gonna give up? I'm persona non grata. I'm out of options. I'm sorry, I'm uh, looking for the table with Conrad Hawkins. Come on, man. You're always telling us to fight. You are the guy that pulls Hail Marys out of nowhere. I know what's wrong with Dax. My players are like family to me, and this has shown me that my family needs a doctor. I'd like the doctor to be you. <laughs> I thought you'd like to know I've just been hired as the new team doctor for Georgia FC. Physical therapy, medical tests, referrals, orthopedic surgery, it's the I'm chief resident. And I'm gonna do whatever I think is best for my patients here at Chastain. We still have a lot of work to do, like ousting our corporate overlords. Which won't be an easy task. True, but we will get it done together. Welcome home, Conrad. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to another day in the trenches. Woo I'll drink to that. You wanted to be with you your first day back at Chastain. I know, but it's only one day. We have so many more to come. You miss all this? You have no idea. Don't fly too close to the sun on your first day back. Mm-hmm. I could use a little sun. In our 20 years of marriage, we've never spent a night apart. I just want to say thank you. For never doubting that I would be okay. Helping me. Helping me find my way back here. 
Go do your one job so my patient doesn't die. So what's your plan? Re-examine head to toe, rerun labs, get to the bottom of this. They took your head, you figured out how to grow another one, but don't think for a second they're not looking for any reason to bring the axe down again. And be careful. Twenty years together, never spent a single night apart. Wow. That is amazing. Something to aspire to. No way. No way, right? No. I just, I'd like you to re-examine all three. Dr. Pavesh already did a very thorough workup, detailed history. You have a way of seeing what other doctors miss. He is looking for a way out. Maybe. I know that he had your back when you got fired, but the man has gone from CEO and chief of surgery to the basement. How long until he goes back to being the guy that would do anything to save his own skin? I say we give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's just try and make sure nobody else dies. I still think we're missing something. Uncertainty is part of the job. And I won't tell you who taught me that, but he seems to have forgotten me. As for the staff, I need you to give notice to the residents. I have left word at every single hospital across the state to try and get you transferred. Can't make any promises, but... I hope every favor I can. I came up with some of these OB interns from men's school. These are good doctors, good people. Being chief resident is not what I thought it would be. All right, but if you're not fist pumping in a half hour, I'm calling it. Mm, 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 okay, mm, all right, mm. enough of that. It is like a fairy tale. Are we the fairy tale type, Conrad Hustle? I wasn't, but you make me believe. <laughs> After everything that's happened this year, I know that together we can get through anything. I was talking to my accountant, and she gave me some really good reasons as to why we should only just get married. What? Oh, I reject <laughs> your proposal. <laughs> you reject it? Yes. What matters is that we belong together. Wait, are you proposing to me now? Why do you think I'm saying all this lovey-dovey stuff? Why do you think I've been carrying this thing around in my pocket for weeks? Nicolette, Marie, Nevin, will you be with me on now? I have never been so sure of anything in my life before. Honey, is so clear. <laughs> <sighs> We're gonna start telling everyone we're engaged, huh? Let's shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> They'll send a residence. They're just barely real doctors. This is a teaching hospital. Residents are very qualified. Good morning, I'm Dr. Conrad Hawkins, real doctor. Thank you for being here, Conrad. Well, your family, of course. You've caused harm, you've made mistakes. I don't willfully endanger my patients. Well, I've become accustomed to a particularly heavy look of yours. Today, today something is different. Yeah, yeah, it is. Today, in order to protect my patients, I had to become part of the system I've been fighting. I, I've been paying attention, and, and I see you have the makings of a true rainmaker. We need compassion, <laughs> heroism, a doctor who fights for patients, military hero turned whistleblower. We all know how you love those. Your inspiring story comes free and clear. Our future is brighter with Conrad Hawkins front and center. And that's how I'll frame it to the board later this afternoon. If you really want to change things around here, this is an opportunity to gain some real power and influence. Never lose sight of your ideals. Because once that happens, the steps aren't many to the dark side. Trust me, I know. Look who it is, the new face of the hospital. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Why is Barry Kane's mug still up there? Randolph Bell, Barry Kane, then Conrad Hawkins. Hard pass. <laughs> Thank you very much. They can't refund the deposit for the wedding venue. Someday this will be over and we will have a beautiful wedding. All right, this is day five of the same mask. Can you check my seal? Seal's holding. We agreed that you were going to work from home. Hear my voice. This is me not happy with you. You need to solve this issue from home. As soon as I'm finished here. Hello? 
You were sending our soldiers to face the enemy without any armor. I feel your frustration. I, I do. My I, frustration. I why, don't you, why don't you come down to my ER and share my frustration instead of sitting in your ivory tower doing nothing? And let us fight for you. <laughs> if you get COVID, I get COVID. If all hell breaks loose, you find out what people are made of. As happy as I've ever been. Marry my soulmate. You're about to be Mrs. Conrad Hawkins. We both should have I'm better taste. I'm pretty sure you're about to be Mr. Nick Nevin. Slightly different guy than that jerk you met your first day of residency. You were just doing your job the wrong way. Uh, must have done something right. He turned into a damn fine doctor. How was your mom doing? They were married 41 years. I was hoping for blue wildflowers. This is the only thing that could have separated them. You know that first date we had hiking at Sweetwater? Flowers I picked for you that day. We wildflowers it is. We are all gathered here today to celebrate the union of these two people we love. Conrad and I wanted to take a moment to remember some friends that are missing here today. We also want to send love to our dear friend Devin, who used to be my best man. He's on his way to his dad's memorial right now. Thank you for stepping in as my best man. I love you. I love you. I promise you'll never lose me. This is forever. For as long as you both show me. I love you deeply. I mean, you were my rock when I got fired. You pushed me to forgive my father. You gave me chickens. What matters is that we just keep trying to make each other better. Sounds to me like you take each other as lawfully wedded husband and wife. We you do! do. <laughs> <laughs>By the way, your husband over here geeked out on her. Wow, husband. I don't know that I'll ever get used to that. I know what I stand for. I know what I'm fighting for. You could have actually done some good here. You could have stood with me. Hang on tight, Dr. Hawkins. It's going to get even uglier around here. I'm pregnant. Oh my God, you're going to be the best mother ever. Our kid will be kind, brave, just like you. A baby. <laughs> oh my god, this is never gonna be the same again. No, it's not. It's gonna be better. I may have already ordered a case of non alcoholic sparkling cider for you and a few other things. Like what? Pregnancy pillow. <laughs> what? Pregnancy's already further along than it was last time. This time it's gonna be different. It's, it's gonna be okay. You know that, right? We can't. I had a miscarriage, and it was awful. Papa, you're not fine, you're grieving. You don't need to put a timeline on it. Getting through it takes as long as it takes. Let's just talk about how you're feeling. I said fine. By definition, a marriage is a business arrangement. You are linking your finances, your housing arrangement, your professional and biological plans to someone else. It makes sense. It makes sense if you're in love. Oh, wow. It's magical. <laughs> I'm guessing a baby. They just got married. It's got to be a baby. Shh, don't jinx it. We wanted you to be the first to know. You're having a baby. <laughs> it's a girl. How do you feel about being a grandfather? Oh. <laughs> Conrad, that is wonderful. Let's see how much our girl's grow. I can't wait to see her. Yeah. 15-week-old baby <laughs> Hawkins Nevin. <laughs>
Okay, we can figure this out. I've eliminated everything in my head. But here's what you taught me. To find a cure, you need the right diagnosis. The key to the right diagnosis is... The patient's history and the physical exam. Baby. Rest. It's okay. It's okay. Rest. <laughs> Seems like our baby's strong like our mom. You know there's only one person I want to see. You know that you agreed to it. Yeah, of course. Billy Sutton, most promising neurosurgery resident at Chastain. Or was until she wrecked one of Conrad's patients and got fired. Hawkins? Sutton? That you're thrilled to see me. Mm, Nick wants you here, so I want you here. Then we won't have trouble. You know, maybe for the moment we can put aside all our triggers and just be on the same side. But you and I will never be on the same side. Steer clear of me, try and give Nick what she needs, and then leave. As soon as possible. Let's see the ring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that rock. We did good. We have chickens. The things we do for love. <laughs> the baby, something's wrong. I, I just felt, felt this pain. All right, all right, I'm sure everything's fine. We'll just get that pain checked out. If we do this, there's a high chance of miscarriage. That can't happen. Not sure Nick could take that. Oh, I'm not sure I could take that. This must be awful for you. Now it's up to our baby girl. She's a fighter. She'll rally. What's going on? I think I felt your kick. She's moving. I'm gonna miss her. Actually, you're not gonna miss her at all. Because I asked her to stay and take care of you here for the next few weeks. I love you. I love you too. And I love you. And who is this guy? It's Captain Hill, my commanding officer in Afghanistan. Captain Hill! Hang in there, Captain. There should be a bullet next to his spine. There isn't. Okay, so the bullet that you're talking about, you think it migrated to another place in his body? Yeah, and I need to help them find it because Nate got shot saving my life. I disobeyed an order, and it nearly cost my commander and friend his life. You know, I have some regrets about the way I've treated Conrad. He's reached out to me uh, over the years, but uh, I just been like a blockade, you know? I need this to sink in, okay? The choice that I made is what we do for each other. Throw this away, because when you toss it, I want you to toss away the guilt and the shame and anything else that you've been holding on to. You know, as parents, we're gonna need to lean on each other in all kinds of different ways. I do. This place hasn't been the same without you. Welcome back to work. Well, our baby girl needs a pretty nursery, right? Yeah, she does. Losing me and it would be a real blow to Justine. And to a lot of us personally. I'm not dead. People move away all the time. This is not a hallmark moment. No need to get sentimental. Sometimes when your heart breaks, your body does too. Take it from me, even the best laid plans fall apart. But the people that love you stick by your side. They do. And that's a beautiful thing. You got one star. Steer clear of Dr. Okafor. She told me my uterus sucked. Steer clear of Dr. Okafor. She told me my uterus sucked. It did suck. It did suck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we love you. I won't ever forget you. Hello, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. you getting all wet. <laughs> How am I going to get back into the ambulance without her? You will. When you're ready, just one step at a time. But she wouldn't want you to stop helping people. So let's get the hell out of here. Another sonogram, let me see. <laughs> Aw, it's a fat little potato with fists. Why don't you come meet us? No way, Conrad wants you all to his lonesome. Yes, I do. If it'll be this hard to say no to our daughter. Probably. Yep. <laughs> you were promised a spa day. And you will get a spa day.
Take care of Nick for me. Dude, in a few hours, you'll have a house full of doctors and nurses. Nick hiccups wrong, and the party will come to a grinding halt. That's a good point. Bye, my love. Bye. Oh. Our moms. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you, Billy. It's for the baby's room, so she never forgets her grandmothers, who I'm sure would love to see her. But left this world too soon. They're here with you in spirit. You tired? A bit. Why? I don't think we're gonna get much sleep. What are you talking about? Who does she look like? Me. What? Nick was so brave bringing this baby into the world. Mm, that's sweet. He's lying. I begged for drugs. It was just too late. <laughs> Georgiana Grace Hawkins. You named after both of our moms. Well, Gigi. Gigi. So will you be godfather or unofficial uncle? I think it would be great. He's going to love him, Grandpa, something fierce. Yeah, I'm going to make sure of that. One our little angel, Georgiana Grace. Ah, hello, Dad. Hello, Dad, to you. You just joined the best club in the world. I think this may be the greatest day of my entire life. Thank Can't you. wait to meet my granddaughter. I hope seeing us with the baby today didn't help. <laughs> but it makes me realize I'll never have what you have. Yesterday was a great day. <laughs> Gigi came into the world. We want the next generation, Gigi's generation, to have the best health care for everyone. Absolutely. We have to keep fighting for our patients. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful in your life? You can feel it on the way home. Yes. It's our first night out since Gigi was born, so someone has a little separation as I Just call if there's anything, okay? Bye. You were in love. Me on the <laughs> same song was playing right here on our first day. You don't remember what song was playing on our first date. I knew, it was Neon Moon. <laughs> You're the only woman I've loved since the first moment I saw you. And I can't imagine life without you. Oh, I love you. What about a life insurance policy? You're not gonna die, so. I certainly hope not. Mm, that wasn't a statement, that was an order. You know, I don't want to talk about any of this right now. If Just something happens it. to me, I want you to be secure financially, and I want you to love someone again. You deserve happiness. And Gigi deserves a father. Just promise me, whoever it is, to find someone who loves you as much as I do. I promise. This is forever. Only if you do too. I promise. As long as you both show me. You know what a lucky man you are to have this little one. Yes, I'm aware of exactly how lucky I am. I love my girls. I just, oh, who's there? Who's there? Is it mommy? Conrad Hawkins. There's been an accident. Do we have an ID on the patient? Nicolette Nevin. Doc, we got this. Uh, I'm Dr. Ever husband. Nick, I'm here. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. Nick is gonna be fine. Does everyone hear that? What you want is to direct Nick's care, but you cannot. You think I'm in denial? What if we do this to the end? And... And I, I can't ever talk to her again. Nick won't recover from this, Conrad. That's my wife in there. Gigi's mother, the center of our world. We are not giving up on her. Is it gonna destroy me? Yes. And I'm gonna do it for Nick. Conrad. I got you. Once I disconnect the vent, we wait eight minutes to see if she breathes. She's going to live forever in your heart. Time. I'm sorry Nick is brain dead. The way Nick talks about you. 
She thinks you're a miracle worker. You can save everyone in this damn hospital, but you won't save her. Nick is gone. Being kept here hooked up like this, that was her idea of hell, and I'm not gonna do that to her. I intend to honor Nick's decision. That's all I can do for her now. I would never forgive you for this. Well, nothing can compare to your pain. I hope you know how much we all loved her. I do know that. She loved you. She helped so many people during her time at Chastain. <laughs> it's quite miraculous that her life-saving work will continue. You know, you don't have to do this right now. Not until you're ready. I don't think I'll ever get ready. This is what she wants. So, this is what I want. Brought your favorite person. She's going to save so many lives. Exactly. I'm just wondering if this might be doing you more harm than good. Something I need to do, Dad. What exactly are you looking for? I need to know why she crashed. If he doesn't find what he wants, then what? He'll be there for him. We all will. Nick was mine. I was hers. It was us. There was no me. Now the only thing I recognize about myself is that I'm a doctor. Bearing the unbearable. The other side of sadness. How to go on living when someone you love dies. Those books don't have the answer I need when Gigi asked me how her mother died. A couple more pieces to complete our puzzle. But I promise you, I promise you I won't stop until we have all the answers. A million things happen every second to every single person on the planet. Some are joyful. Most are inconsequential, and a few are unbearable. Can you make peace with that? Nick? Are you perhaps an on-duty physician who should be off? Are you sure you're ready, Conrad? No, but Gigi needed a change. Well, if you get the urge to bolt, we got you covered. Solid. when is that? Which is New Year, when the invisible veil that separates the worlds of the living and dead is at its thinnest, and we can connect with those we've lost. Hey, so sorry I missed your call. That yoga teacher was a sadist. Her session destroyed me and I fell asleep. I don't know if I got anything from my retreat. The pain of missing you and Gigi was more than a mud bath could make up for. I love you both. I'll see you soon. Kiss Gigi for me, okay? If you'd seen my bookstore in Inman Park. Book zoo. That was it. Did you, did you visit? <laughs> yeah, my wife and I went there a lot when we first started dating. Tell me about your wife. Yeah, she died suddenly. The whole world stopped. But I have a daughter. Keeps me going. I have to keep going for her. She's with you. She always will be. Look what mommy did. <laughs> mommy got you a costume. She's still looking out for you. It's someone's bedtime. Oh, not already. It's really just a chance for us to quietly reflect on our memories in silence among friends. So if you have something you want to say to Nick. Ready? Almost. Uh, candy will run out if we take too long. Would candy really run out? <laughs> Not a chance. What's that on your finger? This? Just scratch them, okay? I'll get the first aid kit. They're all better. Mm. Someone has a mother's touch, huh? Are you going to a hospital where mommy used to work? 
Uh, you remember, sweetie. I don't work at the hospital anymore. We miss you. Miss you guys, too. Oh, enough to come back? You never know. I might sneak back and torture you guys again. Conrad knows as long as I'm CEO, he always has a place here. Who's the new attending? It looks familiar, like this intern I tried to train. Same bit, huh? <laughs> How's it, little lady? Perfect. Well, we had some good times here. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I think about you guys all the time. It's actually annoying how much I think about you guys. <laughs> I forgot how much fun you two are when you get together. I will keep searching. You have a dinner date with a very special lady. I remember that look. Look, I get why you left, but I just feel like you. This is what you were meant to be doing. Uh, I miss it, man. I do. She is the spitting image of Nick. Gigi's my everything. Just know that you and Nick are missed every day. How was your day, Daddy? Are you happy, Cobra? Best day I had in a long time. What do you think? I love it! But do you love it more than our house? Way more than our house. <laughs> I'd love to come back. That's what we want. But my priorities have changed. It's not just childcare. I need flexibility. Weekends is a laundry list of things I would need. If there's a hospital out there that wants to do that for you, it's this one. He's amazing. I know you didn't lose your touch. I said I lost my touch. Well, people talk. But don't worry, I got your back. I need a beer. I'm ready. I'm ready to suit back up for Chastain. Welcome back, Dr. Hawkins. I have Gigi, I have my friends like your son, what more can I ask for? You tell me. We're all gonna die. And you found it hard to give her the truth, but you did it anyway because the patient is what comes first, not us. You're a good man, Dr. Pradesh. Remember that. Alec just told me that his mommy is a nurse like my mommy, right? Yeah! It is so great to have you back, Dr. Hawkins. You are a magician. <laughs> <laughs> no, Daddy, she's a nurse. The same thing, little one. The nurses are really hovering around Gigi today, huh? Yeah. And you. Wonder what that's about. Well, you're a really great diagnostician, so I'm sure you'll make sense of it. Hunley was just filling me in on the adventures of Chastain's most eligible bachelor. I'm not ready for it. It's uncomfortable. All I know is that Nick wouldn't want you to be alone forever. You deserve to be happy. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. And who's that? That is mommy. Oh, she's beautiful. I bet you miss her. Daddy says she watches over us. What you said earlier. You think I really could? Yeah, go for it. Daddy, did you forget to go to the market again? I did. I am a bad daddy. No, you're not. Please let me save you, I Think of all the beautiful things you'll never be able to experience again. What are we here for anyway, huh? Watch people we could save just... just die. Now we're just here to make sure he doesn't die alone. Do you ever get used to it? It never gets easier, just... It just gets different. We allowed him to live and die according to his principles, and because of that, we managed to keep ours. Too much confidence and passion, not nearly enough restraint. Something's wrong with me, and I'm not quite sure what. You want me to examine you? Marion, I just want to <laughs> say it again. I know. The boundary's clear. Field miles. Mm, a lot of places. How about you? Afghanistan. Yeah, maybe Corman can tours. Conrad Hawkins. Kincaid Sullivan. Cade to friend and foe alike. It's like someone scrubbed her entire internet presence. Call Hawkins. For a consult? Just call him. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. She has Nick's heart. That young woman was the recipient of a donor heart. 
and it belonged to Conrad's wife who died in an auto accident three years ago. And Nick and Conrad were a great couple. True love story. If that woman has something seriously wrong and should happen to die. Who knows how he's going to react? Yeah. How are you holding up? Keeping perspective, the heart is a muscle. This is me, Conrad. Inside this woman who walked into our ER is a part of someone we both loved. That means something. When they came into this hospital gravely injured, I would have died to save her, but I couldn't. No one could. They know better than anyone there is nothing harder than not being able to deliver a miracle. I wasn't sure if I was going to tell you this, but my wife was an organ donor, and she saved a lot of lives, including yours. I have your wife's heart. Doctor, I won't hurt you. I'm gonna take care of you. Promise. Hey, I know you have a daughter, so if this case is hitting too close to home for you. Yeah, and it's close to home, but there's nowhere else I'd rather be. He's so good with kids ever since he had one of his own. He never had a chance. Yeah, no, I get that. That guy's like a picnic basket filled with cupcakes and ponies and sunbeams. If I need help, I will ask. You? I'll see you around, Hawkins. She's already reading? That's amazing. Uh, way sooner than I ever did. She must have got that from her mom. You're smiling. That's good news, right? Since you started taking the meds, your MS is not progressing. It means you're clear for surgery. The OR needs you. And you need the OR. It's a bomb primed and ready to go off at any moment. I just want to say welcome back. She never loses focus like this. She needs to know we're here for her. I know she's your friend. Is there anything I can do? Shut down any rumors you hear around this place. You know I care about you, right? What is going on here? I wish I could tell you, Conrad. You can. Nick wouldn't want you to carry this weight alone. Talk to me. It was a... Me too kind of a thing. I'm so sorry, but if you're going into battle, I want to be your wingman. Well, I'd never bet against Dr. Billy Sutton. I want to go somewhere with me and just talk. I don't want you to I've never heard of this patient. I didn't prescribe these. That's not what you do. You have to go straight to the FBI. And what exactly are we navigating? 163 antipsychotic prescriptions written in your name in the last two months at six different clinics. Classic mob operation. I don't stay alone in one place. I like you. You're not like you. But it ends there. Well, maybe you should stop running. You take care of people. You want to take care of me. But you can't. I feel like a general is sending my soldiers out into the battlefield to face a line of machine guns while I stand in safety. All wars have casualties. They also have triumphs. <laughs> Do we need to talk about the new ER doctor? I already have one lady in my life. <laughs> Gigi's definitely my greatest achievement so far. We got that right. Then, back in the fresh grief of Nick's passing, I, I guess I don't... They all come with complications. Yeah. And I'm sure that you had those complications with Nick. Uh, yeah, but the baggage is mostly mine. You know, my experience with counseling widowers, that guilt and loyalty can toss you back into the original grief. You deserve your next great romantic achievement. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, Nick, it's just... Nick has been on my mind. Watching people slide to the very edge. We fight to save them. Like we're surrounded by loss. Past, present, future. Ours. Other people's. There are some holes you just can't fill. Good friends are good medicine. Over and out. <laughs> How was that for him or for you? Uh, a little bit of both. I'm worried about him. You fix people. You go fix them, can't you, Daddy? Spencer and Gigi, she lost her mother. She can't lose her best friend. I want you to know that every second that you're asleep, I'm going to be right here beside you. Treat him like he's your child. 
What he just said in there won't help Peter. Keeping your objectivity will. You have to. Is he gonna die like mommy? I'm scared. No, no, that's okay. It has your name on it, but records show you never treated him. Because I didn't. It's like the overdose from a few weeks ago. I can't have my name on bottles of drugs that kill people. We got into it a bit today. Yes, we did. Friends again? Always. I love working with colleagues who have strong opinions. Me too. I could lend you Gigi. <laughs> Daddy. Daddy needs a break. I'll pick you up in, uh, say, what, about a week? <laughs> what do you say, Uncle AJ, yeah? Even though he knew this day was coming, it doesn't make it any easier. Nothing makes this easier. It's time to start living your life. Same could be said of you. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, but I have a life. It's just centered around my daughter. <laughs> There's any way I can help? You already have. Kay gave notice, just up and quit. Where are you gonna say goodbye? Just hold my hand. I don't wanna die alone. It's not like Nick. I know this is nothing like Nick, but she's a friend and a colleague that we wanna save. The situation's gotta be a trigger. No, not even close. They've got her, Conrad. How personal is this, Conrad? It's personal for all of us. That's not what I'm asking. Are you in love with Kate? No. She put up barriers to protect herself, so did I. What are your barriers? Ah, uh, it's obvious. It always comes back to Nick. Something stops me, and it's not just with Kate, it's with... It's with others, too. I'm not protecting myself, maybe. I can't face another loss like that, and do I feel like I'm cheating on Nick? I don't know. Um, it's a sickening thought given how Nick died. It's like he wants to relive what happened to Nick and rewrite the ending. Hey, partner. I heard. You had a job interview up in Baltimore today. I remember when you were a green star, you had intern. And you said this job isn't easy. That if it were, everyone would be a doctor because it is the best job in the world despite everything. Despite everything, because of everything. That's still the case. Now I'm gonna say something selfish. Okay. Don't break up the team. I don't want to. Trust me. Oh, well, lately I've been a little disappointed in myself. Really? I'm afraid to do what that kid was willing to do. Take a big risk for a larger life. But now I've gone and fallen for someone. Don't tell me you're afraid the guy's gonna say no. Because that seems inconceivable. I'm as afraid he'll say yes as I am he'll say no. Conrad and Gigi will be lucky to have <sighs> Is it that obvious? Maybe not to Conrad. Billy, go tell the men how you feel. This is a nice new jacket that they're out. Sorry, go ahead. I have my daughter and that saved me, but no matter what I do for the last four years, I just can't let Nick go. Forgiveness and acceptance is a beautiful thing. I didn't even talk to my father for years. I realized their problems were a two-way street. Gave him a chance, and he was capable of more than I ever could imagine. Now I couldn't be closer. Where I met Nick. We had our first date here. First date after Gigi was born. A lot of memories here. Maybe it's time to make new memories. Daddy! I'm coming, sweetheart! It's just a dream. Bad dream. Do you think this could have anything to do with Nick's death? Yeah, maybe it's possible. Conrad. It's just brutal seeing her like this. Fixing things like this is supposed to be my job. Hey, it's gonna be okay. 
You're a great dad. I don't know what I'd do without your support. Why didn't you tell them that you thought about him? Maybe I did. No, because if you did, he would be with you right now. I doubt that. Conrad and I are closer than we've ever been. We're best friends. It's never too late to win the love of your life back. I want you to see something beautiful that you can only see in the dark. Oh, it must be so hard dealing with all this parenting stuff alone. Believe me, all I keep thinking about is how great Nick would have been at dealing with this. You're doing an amazing job. Gigi misses you. We'll do something together again soon. That's okay. I'm sure your weekends are full. Brought you a fresh one. Mm. Oh no, we're good over here. Thank you. It's good being in the trenches with you. Just the person I was looking for. You are Nick's best friend, so every time I see you, it's like Nick's watching me through you or something. I don't know. Oh. I know that sounds weird. Seriously, you have to let that go. It makes me second guess everything. Would Nick approve of me with Kate? Like I said, I just want you to be happy. So would Nick. You know everything I went through with Nick better than anyone. Georgiana Grace, chop chop, we're gonna be late. I feel sick. You're not warm, tell me what hurts. I think I have a cold. <coughs> Gigi and I have a new challenge now. She needs some tough love. So can you cover for me? Don't worry, man. I got you. Listen, we are going to practice until you can do every single takedown in your sleep. Capiche? Capiche. Daddy, are you OK? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll get my nurse's kit. So what, you're going to leave Justine to become a karate instructor? Take one, though, technically. How far do I push before what I thought was helping is actually harming someone? Trust your instincts, what your gut say. Doesn't matter if you break some stupid board. What matters is that you keep trying. Get me better. You did it once. You do it again. I can't say I'm unfamiliar with denial. That's the plan. None of us are. What have you denied? I'll never get used to this. That's one of the many ways that you are special. Is your daddy gonna get married again? He has a girlfriend. She's not like my mommy. I mean, I don't remember my mommy. I wish I remembered her. I know it's a lot, and you were always there for both of us. I love you guys. I thought you and Billy were doing it together. But I adjusted. I told myself I was wrong. But then I saw you and Billy dancing at the wedding. Everyone was dancing together. Hell, I also danced with Conrad. And he looked at you like that? And the look on your face was... Can we share something that's... It's, it's hard to describe, I guess. It's a sense of what we lost. I woke up a little confused. Yeah, I'm confused too. Are you happy? Yeah, we're happy. But I'm not confused. I want you to be happy. Losing that crushed me. I'm just... doing my best to figure out things as I go. How was the deposition? They asked me about Hoda. Hoda? After this kind of day, I just want to get home and hold on to Gigi until she's 18. Nothing really prepared me for how different being a doctor felt after having Gigi. I never truly realized how fragile we are until I held my own flesh and blood in my arms. You know, you're not really selling the parenthood thing here. <laughs> it's the best thing that ever happened to me. I am long past the days of letting outside influence dictate the way I do my job. I knew that man they wrote about in that article, and that's not you. Not now. I'm not so sure about that anymore for a number of reasons. I trust you in my life. After everything we've been through, that has to mean something to you because it means something to me. We just want to help you. Yeah, well, oh, they, can, they can check me out, but you, you stay the hell away from me. Last time I saw him was the day Nick died. He didn't even come to the funeral. He was so angry at me. He's still upset with you five years later? Figured he'd get in touch if he wanted to see his granddaughter. If he didn't even want to see Gigi, that's on him. Gigi, it's your grandfather, Kyle. Kyle, you remember Georgiana Grace? Everyone says she looks like Nick. <laughs> he can make anything better. Except your mom. He couldn't save her. He tried. He misses her so much. And the man walked away from you and his only grandchild. I forgave him a long time ago. 
Get out of my OR. They're still in the hospital. This is 301. We have a pair of adult males, possibly dangerous, seen on the seventh floor. Is Billy still in surgery on that floor? I don't know. Maybe. Seriously, you have to let that go. It makes me second guess everything. But what you need to know is Conrad and Billy love each other. When I first got here, you asked where home is. Here's your answer. Nick would have been proud of you today. I want you to be proud of me. I haven't been honest with myself about my feelings for Billy. I didn't know how I felt about Billy. Well, everybody else did. I mean, literally everyone. I gotta say, though, we all knew it was coming. To everybody but me, I guess. How's it going? Good. Good. Me too. I don't love how we got here, but I am so happy that we are here. I know. Me too. Whatever happens, even if this whole place shut down tonight, we created something great here together. And that will live on in everyone who was a part of it. Us. Feels so... Feels right. Come on, think about the Hawkins who used to break all the rules. Tell me what that guy would say. He'd say go for it. I love you, Billy. I love you, too. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't let me stab you. Kiss him again. <laughs> she is just like her mother. I feel like I just saw Nick. Have I ever told you you're the best intern I ever had? Well, I had the best teacher. And I love you.